What's up with you? For today's video, we're we'll full Dawnstone Evolution team. So there's only two Pokemon out there that actually evolve with the Dawnstone, and that's going to be Gallade and Frostlass as the final evolution. So I decided to go with Curlia, Snorunt, Gallade, and Frostlass to make up a full team of four. Even then, things were very, very tricky. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my live streams and stuff like that, and uh, you can check that link out in the description of the video. I've got two battles today with the Dawnstone Evolution team and i really hope you enjoyed there was actually a fair bit of salt in today's video trust me i was quite salty so the first battle here this is against peeps a lot and we got a four versus six battle the first pokemon is going to be a oh it's a shiny rock rough looks very very nice the blue and the yellow eyes look good so my first pokemon here is going to be snora and I'm, I'm i'm shaking in my boots already so i've got uh this snora as a moody set i've got everlight and i've got protect block frost breath and double team pure scum. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go for Protect first turn because I want to get a free Moody boost. Now on that Protect, we got the Rock Ruff setting up the Stealth Rock, which wasn't very nice. So I'm going to get hit by the rocks every time I swap my Pokemon in. Now the cool thing about uh, Moody and the move Frostbeth is Frostbeth always oh, crits. So you don't have to worry about those special attack drops at all, which works in really, really nicely. So I've got the EV spread as Max Health and Max Defense, and I've also got Sassy Nature. So I built this thing really, really bulky. Obviously, not that it's like insanely bulky, you know, but it can take a couple hits, especially after a few moodies if you're lucky. Now, block is to obviously block the opponent in so you can get those protects up. If you get a good matchup, then you can start firing off a couple of frost bests when you've got some special attack rises and maybe put a couple of double teams up as well so you can't be hit by uh, any moves. But of course, Dynamax can still hit. So getting some double teams up there, which is always very handy, and getting another round of uh, oh, as a special defense boost that time, and my attack's going to drop which is good now rock rust gonna pop up a stone edge here and stone edge does so much damage i lived on 17 health so it was very very close getting off a, a, a frost breath here on the rock rock and that almost takes out the little pup rocks it was a crit wow and it's gonna have a focus sash so i was very very close to taking a rock rock out in a children's game of pokemon so i'm gonna get another <laughs> moody boost here and that's gonna get a special attack drop which doesn't matter and i decided to go for another protective what i wanted to do here which is quite good when you are facing a faster Pokemon, you can actually try and get another Protect off. So you could try and maybe get a, uh, an extra speed boost. This thing needed a lot of speed boost to actually you know, outspeed any uh, Pokemon at all. Uh, they're going to go for another Stone Edge here, and it lands. And that is going to be the end of Snora. So not exactly the greatest start to the battle, you could say. Uh, we're going to go into our next Pokemon, which is going to be Frostlass. So I'm running a physical Frostlass today. I'm going to take some nasty Stealth Rock damage. So this is pretty cool. We've got a Triple Axle, Poltergeist, Rollout, Trick Set with Choice Band. I tried to go for the Choice band set today for a little bit of fun i'm gonna go for i was thinking about going for a roll out here i was like nah i probably should just go for triple axle you know knowing my luck i'll probably miss a roll out then it'll take me out with a stone miss and i'll get roasted so that's gonna be the end of rock rough now the next Pokemon is going to be Rockruff. It's an entire team of little Rockruff. So if I lose this battle, I'm going to get roasted hard. So I have to get the dub. So go for the triple axle here and landing one solid hit. And it only landed once. It was a single axle. I was like, what? Now the Rockruff is going to go for a sand attack here, dropping my accuracy. I'm oh, no, this is very, very bad. So I'm locked into triple axle here. I don't want to go for Dynamax because I'll get roasted for that too. I'm going to keep going for triple axle. And I've got another single axle. Now this Rockruff. It's going to have sand attack and it's going to have attract at the same time. So I know why it's called like why it's called scum puppy for, like I can see. Now the other move is Thunderfang. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to paralyze me with Thunderfang and then get the attract up and then spam sand attack, you know, and make me salty. So here comes another Thunderfang here. I kept missing with my moves, unfortunately. And I think I was getting like, like attracted to uh, by the Rock Ruff. And it just actually eventually took me out, which really, really sucked. Now with this team, especially versus an entire team of Rock Ruff, I almost like refuse to Dynamax. I'm like, I'm not going to Dynamax here. I don't need to. So I've got Galadia, but this is a troll set. So this is actually meant to use um, a non-Dynamax set. I'm going to be making use of Focus Punch and Hypnosis. I've got Psycho Cut and Leaf Blade. Now I wanted to make sure I could go for Hypnosis and then go for the Focus Punch. That was the whole strategy of using this Glade. Something a little bit uh, more difficult than just the standard set. So Hypnosis, of course, is going to miss. And Santa Attack, of course, is going to land. So that's going to be on my actually drop. Now, the EV spread on this set is going to be a Jolly Gallade with max speed and max attack. 
I've got the ability Steadfast, and I've got the item Scope Lens. So, you know, moves like Leaf Blade and Psycho Cut, they've got a very good chance of actually, uh, you know, uh, critting, which is good. So, uh, tightening my focus here, and it's going to go for Thunder Fang. I was like, oh, I thought it would, like, go for a, you know, a status move, and I'm going to lose my focus. So, I got fed up with this puppy and just went for a Leaf Blade, and that is going to be the end of it. No more of that scum. I'd already had enough uh, at the start of the battle. So, that's two little puppies down. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be called Iron Dog. I'm like, okay, Iron Dog. wonder what this set's going to be. I went for Hypnosis, and Hypnosis missed again. Of course it did. And then it used Iron Defense. Like, oh, come on. Now, I do have Leaf Blade here, so that can actually bypass that if I get a crit, that is. Not 100% guaranteed. So I was like, well, they might go for another one again. Let's go for Focus Punch. And then they went for Fire Fangs. I'm like, oh, good. I hope I don't get burned here. It's still doing pretty good damage to me, and it critted me. So I was like, man, this really, really sucks. So now I'm going to go for Hypnosis. It missed again. I cannot, for the life of me, land a Hypnosis. Like, especially after those, uh, the, I think it was like one or two sand attacks. Now I just got fed up with it and went for the Leaf Blade. And Leaf Blade missed, and Fire Fang is going to take my Gallade out. Man, I'm starting to get really salty right now. So that's the end of my Gallade, and I've only got one more Pokemon left, and that's going to be Curlia. Now, this is a pretty cool Curlia set. It was very, very bulky, and I had to, I had to come and clutch here, right? So I'm uh, copying that Steadfast from the Rock Ruff. Now, on this set, it's a bulky Pain Split Defense Girl Draining Kiss Car Mindset. So I wanted to make Curlia as bulky as possible. Ironically, the Rock Ruff actually misses with Fire Fang, and I get a free Defense Girl, which is really cool. So the uh, Curlia set is max uh, health evs and i've also got max defense and i've got bold nature so it's very very bulky um curly's defense isn't the greatest in the world there and the ability is trace as you've seen i trace the steadfast from the rock rough which is going to be quite handy if i do get flinched but that's more of a situational thing so what i did here is actually just went to the car mine as many times as i could now draining kiss will be reasonably powerful there and it'll also sustain me too so i won't have to go for pain split pain split was good there at the start when i was trying to get my boost up or i was versing something like they had like a lot of base power behind the hits and I could, you know, get my health back quicker there, and I didn't have to actually attack. But, uh, you know, you probably could replace that with something. But I kept it on there just in case. So now Rock Ruff's going to keep spamming Fire Fang over and over again. I really don't think that this Rock Ruff or, like, any of the Rock Ruffs are going to be able to get past this. But you never know. There's always, like, there could be a sneaky stone miss there, and it could creep you. I just noticed one thing too. When you look at Curly's feet, it's just like it's like it's almost like tap tap like on the ground. It's like a, it's almost like a ballerina, you know. So uh, we got some defense scales going here. Imagine doing that with your feet all day. That'd get like that, or like what a uh, you know, I guess like a ballerina does. They stay on their toes. That would get like really really sore. Like I don't, I'm like I don't I don't know what it's like, but I can imagine standing on your toes for that long would be really really painful after a while. Maybe they've got like massive callus or something like that. Anyway, back to the battle. I actually got flinch and stand fast came into effect it's like wow that was really lucky so i got a free speed boost there uh only on pin rush shell there and we're gonna get a calm mind up here so i think this is like calm mind number four or five so at the moment uh curlia was stacked you know like i was ready to rock and roll here uh pardon the pun so here comes another five thing now i haven't revealed that i've got a healing move I don't know that they expected me to have one. Um, I almost, I'll be honest, I almost didn't run, like, actually run uh, the Pain Spit. I was almost going to go for a Rest and Sleep Talk there, But I decided against it and went for the Pain Spit instead. Now, we got a Draining Kiss there. I was like, okay, this should be able to easily take out the Rock Ruff there in one shot. And Iron Dog lives out. I was like, wow, that was really pocky. So this must be... <laughs> This must be max health and max special defense with an Everlight. I'd say that's what it is. Like, that took that hit very well. At least Everlight with max health, you know. That was a very, very bulky puppy. So it's going to actually burn me with a Fire Fang. Eventually, I guess that to happen. It hit me with so many of them. And uh, Curly is going to get some more help back. And that is going to be the end of Rock Ruff number three there. Rock Ruff number three. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of burn damage here. But at, right now, I'm set up. Really, really good. Like, I'm still really, really good. Next one is uh, Rock Ruff. I don't know. What, some of these nicknames, like, I'm, I'm not sure if they're references or anything like that. Uh, maybe it's what the set is. Uh, anyway, out comes Bob Barker. Sort of bad set, Bob Barker. Um, uh, so it's going to go for a Rock Team here. So that's going to do minimal damage, but it is going to drop my speed. So they, I guess they got their speed control back. Uh, you know, Rock Ruff will be able to outspeed Curly. I, di I didn't run any speed EVs or anything. Anyway, so it's going to go for another Rock Team here. I'm not really sure what sort of set this is at all. It's not doing a lot of damage, but it is based on on actually dropping the opponent's speed so 
I don't really know, but maybe uh, my opponent can explain these sets in the comment section of the video. And speaking of that, make sure you do leave a comment too and a like on the video because that means you get to see my videos in your subscription too. Helps me and helps you, which is awesome. We all work together in this, people. So we got a Snarl coming from the Rock Ruff here, dropping my special state, which is a little bit annoying because that's going to make my draining kiss kind of weaker. But uh, old Bob Barker is going to fake that one, which is fine. And I mean, I could probably just use Car Mind again to boost up my special attack stat. So it's not the end of the world. So that's uh, Rock Ruff number four now. Things are looking pretty good at the moment. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Howler, and that is going to be a Snarl set again. I was like, oh, I just thought I got rid of a Snarl set, but here's another one, you know. Um, when it rains, of course, people. So we're going to have the Throat Spray on this. Of course, that's why it's called Howler. I, I thought it might use Howler. But anyway, we're going to go for a Draining Kiss here, and that still does pretty good damage to Howler, and it takes it out in one shot, and that's going to be the last bark of Howler. Now, we've got one more Pokemon left, and it's going to be a Rock Ruff. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I won't get roasted here if I go for Dynamax because it is a Curlia. It's not a Gallade. So I'm going to be unroastable at the moment. So I'm going to go for Dynamax here. And I'm going to go for a... Uh, probably just... I was thinking about going for Max Guard to see what it would do. And I was like, well, I'll probably take unnecessary damage from my burn and stuff. So I may as well go for Max Starfall. I won't get any... Um, I won't get any heal back from it. But it will be like more base power. So Power Up Pup, or pa Power Up Pup, it almost sound like Power Up Punch, is going to come out here. And it's a double Dynamax, so it's Curlia versus Rockruff. I actually don't think I've versed an entire Rockruff uh, team before. Like, I know that I've versed like, an Evolution uh, team before, like maybe like once or twice. But uh, yeah, that uh, definitely uh, throws me back. I maybe should uh, redo the Lycan Rock uh, Rockruff team. I think I missed out... Uh, I'm trying to think of which one I missed out. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been like the midnight and midday. So it probably would have been the form after that. So here comes our... Uh, oh, so generous. Cousin. It's going to hit me for about a whole thumping two damage there. They really need to get a critical hit here. That's the thing. So uh, I'm going to go for my max Starfall here. And I'm actually going to take some damage from the sand and the uh, the, the burn too after this. But uh, look at the damage that does. The next uh, one is going to be able to take out the Rock Ruff. And that is pretty much game here. Unless the Rock Ruff gets a crazy massive crit on my Curlia, I don't think I've got absolutely anything to worry about. Now, before I went for my final attack here on the Rock Ruff, uh, they went for a Max Guard, which is a good play there. They're going to take some... Uh, I'm going to take some more damage from the Sand and the uh, Fire as well. Well, the Burn from the... Uh, that was the Fire Fang earlier on from one of the uh, Rock Ruffs. So, I'm getting close to our felt, but... Once again, like, there's no way it's going to be able to take me out without a crit. And they went for Max Guard again. I'd say what they were doing there is they were hoping to get a second Max Guard and then they were going to go for a Stone Edge crit. I'd say that's what their plan was because they figured, well, it's going to be too bulky to take this out in Dynamax. But that is going to be the end of the six Rock Ruff there. Thank you for the little peeps a lot. I own my stock to us, uh, like a team of Rock Ruffs there. We won't talk about Gallade though because that never happened. Let's get on to battle number two. And uh, speaking of battles that never happened, well, this has got to be one of them. This is a battle against uh, Wind, and I think this is on my stream. I can't really remember. One second, people. I'm just going to take a sip. Ah, oh, that's better. So the first Pokemon we got is going to be Tokyo. So not a bad matchup. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the trick. So I'm going to give the Tokyo a choice band. I thought, well, that's going to be a good play. So I got the choice band. I got a sticky bump, and then they used trick. I was like, oh, it's a double trick, Lee. So what's going to happen there? Pretty much the Tokus got the choice band. I got sticky bump. But then Tokus got this sticky bump back. And then I got my choice band back. I was like, man, it, it is one of these people. So we're going to go for rollout there. Rollout misses. I want to get a rollout sweep with this thing. I was actually, I'm actually being serious. And now Tokus is going to go for a trick. So it's going to trick the sticky bump to me. And it's going to get a choice band. So it's like, okay, now it's got choice band. What's it going to do now? Has it got like an attack move? They went choice band protect. Only on people are shouting there. So they went for protect. And got some protection up. I went for the trick again because, let's face it, I don't really want to have a sticky bump. I kind of want my choice band left because, you know, Frost Lash, when you run a physical Frost Lash, trust me, it doesn't really hit too hard. Like, it really, really is weak, especially when you're running something like Jolly. Like, you know, Frost Lash likes its speed set, you know what I'm saying? The ability on my Frost Lash was also Snow Cloak, if I didn't mention that earlier on. And Glades was Steadfast, if I didn't mention that either. But uh, I think I did mention Glades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Triple Axle on the Tokus. And I eventually take that one out. But it actually managed to get a couple of, uh, you know, turns of damage on me that would protect with the Choice Band, which is, uh, you know, pretty impressive there. Not, not up to Blissey levels, but, you know, about half Blissey level. So some more Sticky Barb damage. It actually took me down to half health. 
Next Pokemon that's going to be coming in is going to be Jirachi. So Jirachi is going to be a difficult Pokemon to get around. So I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trick the Sticky Barb to Jirachi. You know, I might get a good item here. So I gave it a Sticky Barb and I got a Serving Leftovers. I mean, it's better, better than like a slap in the face, you know what I'm saying? So here comes a Thunder Wave from the Jirachi and it's going to paralyze me. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be fun. Is it going to be some sort of flinching moves that it hits me with next and I have no like way of actually attacking? And it's going to have the Sticky Barb damage though. So at least I got Sticky Barb on Jirachi. That was important. Quite important because when I'm thinking about my team, I'm thinking about, well, Snorlax got Frostbath. What's that going to do? Uh, Glade, well, that's got Focus Punch. It's got Psychart and Leaf Wave. I mean, the only real damage you can do there is Focus Punch. And then I've got my Curly, which needs a lot of turns to set up its Drain and Kiss Car Mind combination, as you got to see in the first battle. So... That Sticky Barb may come in clutch. Now, Jirachi's going to go for a Max Quake here. Does it open its eye when it Dynamaxes? I want to see that again. I missed that. It went for a Max Quake, and I was thinking to myself for a while, there's only one move that it gets. It has to be Mud Slap. So it's a Mud Slap Jirachi. That's just, that's actually kind of mean. Like, Thunder Wave and Mud Slap. So I'm going to go for a, uh, that was a, my um, Shadow Ball there. Shadow Ball. Um, no, it wasn't Shadow Ball. It was uh, Poltergeist getting mixed up on my Ghost Type moves there. I'm running a, a, a physical one today, not a special one. Poltergeist does pretty good damage there, which is fine. Sticky Bub is doing extra damage, and Jirachi's going to get another special defense rise from the Mud Slap. So bye-bye, Frostlass. At least, though, it's not a super powerful set, but I do want to take this out before it trolls me too hard with Thunder Wave and Mud Slap. That could be, a, you know, quite a nasty set to come across there. So, some more Sticky Barb damage there on the Jirachi. I'm going to see if it opens his eyeball, because, like, you know, you miss these little things, like Jirachi opening his eyeball. Well, here it comes. Oh, it didn't. It, its eyeball on its stomach didn't open. That's so weird. Like, sometimes it opens it on some attacks, but some other attacks it doesn't. Interesting. So, anyway, I'm going to bring in my Frostbear Snoron here. I thought, well, it's got one more turn of Dynamax there. I've got nothing to lose. I may as well just throw it in. I don't know how good this Pokemon is going to be against the Resh, you know what I mean? But... Trust me, people, the worst was yet to come. So I got a Moody Boost here. I, got, I think I got an Attack Rise there, which is a complete nuisance. But since the Special Attack rose, it didn't, sorry, it uh, dropped. It didn't matter because I've got the crit anyway. Now, I didn't think I'd be able to take Jirachi out. No way. And then Jirachi used Wish. I was like, well, there goes my chances of trying to take the Jirachi out with my Snoran. Now, this was quite a long section here between the Jirachi and the Snoran. I actually cut a little bit out. Actually, I quite, cut quite a lot out here. Pretty much what happened is I got a bunch of Moody Boost and the Jirachi kept going for Wish over and over and over again. Now, since I was using Frost Breath and a Knot wasn't not, you know, not very effective at all and I didn't have any EVs in uh, Special Attack at all, it took a very, very long time for me to actually do you know, substantial damage to this thing. So finally in there, I was actually able to take out the Jirachi. So I, I, I'd say I would have cut out Look, a good five to ten turns there in that matchup. I, I was like, maybe we're going to hit the 20-minute timer in between that matchup. And I didn't think you people would want to watch that go back and forth for exactly the same thing. So I just cut that little bit out there. Uh, so next point going to come in is going to be Shinonic. So Okay, cool, Shinonic. Oh, I think I can hit this pretty hard. Then the Shinonic swapped out here, right? And then the Milk Tank came in. So like, okay, well, Milk Tank does have uh, Thick Fat, so I'll be able to find out pretty quick if this actually has that ability or it's got something different like, uh, you know, Sap Sip or something like that. So uh, Milk Tank is going to be the troll Pokemon today and it's going to use Metronome. So I'm like, oh, goody. So now it's going to go for a Stone Edge. Like, wow, that was such a lucky move there. Now, lucky for me, lucky for me, I had a lot of Moody Boosts up there and it wasn't a crit. So I actually managed to get off a Frost Breath on the Milk Tank, and that definitely is not a thick fat set. They did like way, way too much damage. So I was actually pretty happy with that. Uh, now, Milk Tank is going to have leftovers as his item, of course, and look at those teats go. So now, Milk Tank is just a purely like metronome set so far, or does it have some other moves to use? Like, and this is where it started to get really trolly. So I swapped out my Snorin, and I was like, okay, it's time for Glade. Like, the last battle I got trolled hard. This time, I can go for Hypnosis, and I can get my Focus Punch combination off. Uh, now, Mil Tank is going to waggle its finger there, and it's going to be going for the Sparkling Arrow. So that's going to do very, very small amounts of damage to me, which is fine. You know, Glade's got good special defense, and Mil Tank's special attack, well, it's garbage. I've used a special one before. It is fun to use, though. So Mil Tank's going to get another round of lefters there, which is cool. Now, what I can do is go for the uh, 
focus punch. They're like, well, they'll go for Metronome again. And then they went for tracks. So I'm like, okay, that's not too bad that it was annoying they used a track. But at least I have a chance of actually hitting this with a focus punch. And it should do like a heap of damage. And if it's a crit, well, it's definitely going down. And then I got to mobilize. Like, oh, man, that sucks. That's, that's very unfortunate. I mean, I could swap Glade out here, but it's just going to you know, attract me again. So let's stay in and see what happens. Now, Miltech's going to go for protect. There's like, oh, so that's a very good counter too. That's a complete counter to focus punch. But I didn't want to give up here and just go for the Desperation Dynamax Power Up Punch. Like, I want to make this Glade set work you know i've been trying and trying and trying uh so i was countered hard by protect and by the attract here now my only way that i was seeking to land a focus punch on miltag would be to able to put it to sleep and then while it's asleep it couldn't use anything like protect and then i could hit it hard and fast with the focus punch but I had to get around the attract as well. That was a problem. So now Milk Tank's going to go for a metronome here. This was pretty much a matchup between Galena, uh, the uh, metronome, um, sorry, the metronome Milk Tank, and then Milk Tank got cursed. I'm like, oh, that really, really sucks. So it got a plus one in defense and its attack. But if I can get a crit here of Galate, it doesn't matter how many defensive boosts the Milk Tank does get. My chance of getting a crit weren't super high because I did have the scope lens, but that was about it. So. You know, it was, a, it was a one in three chance that I'll probably get it. So go focus punch now. I was like, okay, I'm going to hit this mill tank. And then mill tank went for protect again. I'm like, oh, I didn't go from like Metron this time. It was super annoying. So I'm going to get attracted here uh, from the mill tank. And I got uh, focus punch off, but the mill tank protected. I'm getting trolled so hard here at the moment. Uh, so we're going to get uh, another um, attacking move here, and I'm going to get a Mobilize for Love, which is always good to get a Mobilize for Love. Now, Miltank this time is going to go for another Metro, and then it's going to get an Iron Defense. It's like, oh, man, that's so lucky. Like, Curse and then Iron Defense. So great moves to be versing a, uh, you know, a Gallade. So I was like, man, i, I got to swap out here. Like, I'm getting trolled hard. I might have to bring Gallade in. It, let, let's say I go for Dynamax. I'm going to have to get Power Up Punches up. And I reckon, you, you, seriously, like, at this stage, I think I've seen all three of it too. No, it had Metronome, it had Protect, and it had, uh, yeah, one other move, and then I reckon it's got uh, Milk Drink as its other move. Yeah, Milk Drink. That was one of its other moves. It? So we got the Snorrent swapping out, and we're going to go back into Glade. I did a swap so I couldn't be attracted, and I could have fresh swap in and then go for Hypnosis and try and put this thing to sleep. So Milk Tank going to go for yet another Metronome here, and it's going to get Lunge. I was like, oh, that's a good move too. Now, since they did get a plus one in attack, they actually did a lot of damage to me, and Lunge dropped my attack too. I'm like, oh, this is difficult. So finally, finally, I land a Hypnosis. I'm like, this is good. This may be my only chance to get off a Focus Punch here. I was like, I could get potentially three Focus Punch off here and end this Mill Tank right. So tightening my focus here, which is good. And Mill Tank wakes up on the very first turn and gets the Protect. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So Mill Tank blocked my Focus Punch here. And now I'm going to try it again. So like, okay, well, let's try this one again. I'm getting pretty unlucky here, but maybe I'll get a Stroke of Luck. Yeah. So I go for Hypnosis and I land it first. So I was like, great, that's awesome. Now I can go for the Focus Punch again and take out the Mill Tank. So this is what I wanted to do last time. So Mill Tank is fast asleep here. I'm going to tighten my Focus again and I hit it hard and fast with a Focus Punch. Mill Tank wakes up again on the first go and gets a Metro off this time and gets Psycho Cut. And Psycho Cut was a move that I had and it lands very hard. It almost takes me out. At this stage, I'd, I got really salty because I was like, man, I can't land an attack on this thing. And Milk Tank just started spamming Metro. It didn't go for Protect at all. And then it got Charm. I was like, my attack just got dropped again. You wouldn't read about it. So my attack is really low here. At this stage, we had three minutes of the battle. I was like, man, if I don't land a Hypnosis soon, I'm done for. Like, But if I go for Focus Punch, it's just going to use Protect or Metro, right? So now it's going to go for Parabolic Charge here. And I just lift this Parabolic Charge on four health. It's like, Okay, what I'm going to do here is I've got to go Hypnosis, or I've got to land my Focus Punch, or I've got to swap out and try again. Now, Miltank is going to go for a Smoke Screen. At this stage, it's like, you know what? I've got all these attack drops. I've got a Smoke Screen up. Even if I get my Focus Punch off here, right, I'm probably going to miss. So let's swap it out. And we'll go into Snorin. The problem was, right, the 20-minute time was ticking down fast, and I had to make something happen. So Miltank is actually going to go for a, uh, a Metrome Whirlpool here, and what happened here is that he trapped my Snorin in, and all the animations for Moody kept coming. You know how Moody... I actually... 
uh, cut them out of this match right? because it wasn't really important. But, you know, all the moody animation came up there and it was really killing the clock right and the animation of Whirlpool too. And then it used Moonlight. I was like, wow, you're lucky it didn't uh, like, have any damage already because I would have been even more salty. So I went for another uh, freeze dry there and uh, frost breath, sorry. Was it freeze dry or frost breath? One of those two moves. And the milk tank had its left home. So it pretty much, you know, healed everything up there. I'm going to be fainting to the Whirlpool the very next turn. And then I'm going to swap my Glade and go for a final hypnosis and see if I can land it. Or I may just have to go for a focus punch. It's going to get Crush Claw, which is a very trolling move there. And that's going to be the end of Snorite. So with 40 seconds left in this battle, I'm thinking to myself, well, if I go for Dynamax uh, Max Knuckle, it's not going to take it out. No way. If I go for Focus Punch and get the crit, absolutely it's going to take it out and I'll get the dub. That's going to be the battle. So last 20 seconds of this battle, I'm on four health here. Tightening my focus here, and now we got the Miltank go for Metro. It didn't go for Protect, which is really, really good. So here's this move, and it got a Skull Bash. I was like, yes, it's a two-earn move. But the problem is it got another defense boost. So it's not like, that's like plus four or five. So here comes the Focus Punch, my final attempt here, my only attempt, and I didn't get the critical hit. I only got half the health on the Miltank. Man, I was banking on that critical hit from the scope lens, and it just never happened. And that, my friends, is the end of the battle because somehow um, I didn't have enough health left and went one. Peace out, people.